And so you have this man living in your town, this man that was so uh, terrible to look upon that uh, he would just bring fear into the heart of anyone who saw him. Certainly, you wouldn't allow your wife and your children just to to roam the town free. You'd be afraid because perhaps their life could somehow be threatened by such a man. This man that we described yesterday on the broadcast, uh, Mark tells us about in the gospel of Mark chapter number five, this man who literally was... uh, uh, screaming in agony and terror and would cut himself and walked around with no clothes, totally awesome, fearful looking. And uh, to think that this community dealt with this every day. And they had attempted to bring some control to the situation. They, They tried to capture him. And the scripture says that they had bound him with fetters and they had bound him with chains, but nothing could hold him. And so every night you'd hear this man roaming through the mountainside right outside of the village. And he would be screaming in terror and agony and he'd be cutting himself and a whole community had to have been affected by this. But they didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to deal with it. Because the truth of the matter is that this community was completely bound by the devil himself. Because when Jesus confronted this man and uh, The way that the scripture gives the account that Jesus had arrived by ship and uh, as he was coming off the ship, this man saw him and he went running toward him and he recognized him as the Lord and he referred to him as such. And I believe that when Jesus saw the man, he completely was able to uh, define the situation. Jesus knew what was going on here. And immediately, Jesus rebuked the devils that were in him. And then uh, the devils began to speak back to him and say, what are you going to do to us? And uh, as Jesus continued the conversation with him, Jesus said, what is your name? And the devil spoke out and said, we're legion because there are many devils in us. Which brings me to ask a question. How is it that a person becomes so possessed with so many devils. There was a process. And somewhere along the line, a choice was made. A decision was made that led to this destructive state. It's a lesson to us about decisions that are going to affect a lifetime. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.